With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that a body of mass 5 kilograms has a linear momentum of 20 kilogram meter per second. Okay. If a constant force 5 newton acts on it uh, in the direction of its motion for 10 seconds, then the change in kinetic energy of the body is. Firstly, we have to find initial velocity. So basically momentum is given, basically it is given as 20 and we know momentum is given by mass into velocity. Okay, this is velocity initial. So over here we can write mass is given as 5. That means what velocity initial will be 20 divided by mass, which is 20 divided by 5. So this will come out to be as 4 meter per second. Okay, we found out initial velocity. Now if you see force is given, so we can find out acceleration by it. Force is basically equal to 5 Newton. And this is also given by mass into acceleration from Newton's second law of motion. So we can write acceleration is basically equal to 5 by mass. This will be equal to what? This will be equal to 5 by 5 which will be equal to 1 meter per second square. Now we have to find out final velocity. So what are the things given to us? Initial velocity is basically 4 meter per second. And basically time is given as 10 seconds. If you see in the question you can see this 10 seconds is given. Okay acceleration is basically one meter per second square one meter per second square and we have to find final velocity okay so what will you do we'll use the uh, first equation of motion that vf is equal to vi plus uh, basically v is equal to u plus a t so this will be a into t so vf is what we have is what we have to find so four plus acceleration is one and t is 10 seconds so this will come out to be vf will be equal to 14 meter per second okay so now we'll find out the change in kinetic energy so change in kinetic energy will be what half into m into v final minus half into m into v initial or you can say change in kinetic energy is basically ke final which is half mv uh, basically over here there will be square also okay so half mv square uh, final minus half mv square initial so this will be equal to half into m we will take uh, as outside okay so m by 2 will take outside vf square minus vi square okay so vf square since that is uh, this will be 5 by 2 14 square minus 4 square okay so over here we have to calculate 14 square so over here 14 square will be equal to 196 and minus 16 okay so over here what will have 5 by 2 and basically 16 will get minus so it will remain 180 okay so if you see this will come out to be 90 into 5 okay and this will be equal to 450 joules okay so this is our answer this is basically change in kinetic energy okay so our answer will be what our answer will be clearly option number d that is 450 joules got it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today